Hey guys, it's your commissioner. Week eight Bucky of the week. Uh, very tough decision this week. Um, I had three people in mind and thought long and hard. You know, it's getting close. We've got a lot of, you know, we're halfway through the season and uh, we've had some people doing some Bucky stuff. Um, the criteria, you know, kind of goes up and down. Um, you just think who, who exhibits the buckiest of the week. And uh, we get an email each week. I do. I don't, I'm sure you guys do too. But the league power ranking report came out from CBS Sportsline. And uh, it helped me solidify my choice. So it, it had all 12 teams. I went through. I looked at their rationale. And, uh, well, let's just get with, with the top three. In no particular order, Mike Sherry. Now, Mike Sherry is definitely having a Bucky season. In fact, he's won the uh, Bucky of the Week. He had the trifecta to start out the season in Week 1, 2, and 3, and he's the returning Bucky of the of the year for the 2014 season. CBS Sportsline had this to say about the Groves 4B franchise. Very appropriately, for our worst team, Groves 4B was predictably disappointing this week, scoring the fewest points just like they were expected to do. Ouch. Mike Sherry. You got to change your team. I mean, you have the worst record in the league. I think you have since, well, this summer, even before we drafted, you've had the worst team. Um, you're still at the bottom of the Lennon division. But let's meet the other two nominees for this week, shall we? Staying in the Sherry family, Luke Sherry. In fact, Luke, CBS Sportsline said, you could have used better coaching this week as you went against the CBS lineup recommendations and you paid the price, losing 55 to 45, costing your team 15 points, which were sitting on the bench. Luke's never won the Bucky of the Week. In fact, Luke's never won the Bucky ever. He doesn't want it. And in fact, just his the mere mention of his name probably is making him wet in his pants down at Bethel College. Calm yourself down, Luke. Our third goes back to week six, Bucky of the Week, Joe Wickland. Joe Wickland and the Slippery Banana Pelons. CBS Sportsline had this to say about you. You've scored the fewest points in the league over the past three weeks. Joe, you have the fifth worst record in the league. Mike has the first, and Luke, your team has the fourth. Yes, I believe the fourth. Cool Hand Luke and Bloody Helmets are in there as well. But I'm not going to give it to Wicklin. Wicklin has shown, he, he won both games this week. He's shown some consistency. He's actually moving up in the, in the rankings. Uh, in fact, you're fourth place overall in the McCartney. So who does get it? Which of the Sherry's will get it? Mike Sherry, you have the worst record. And you deserve it this week. But it's going to go to your son, Luke. Luke Sherry. Luke has consistently been dropping in the McCartney Division standings. And Luke, you kind of had a Bucky week this week. So you're getting the Week 8 Bucky of the Week for the 2015 season. I know you're excited. And I know you'll wear this as a badge of honor as you go chasing after those co-eds on Bethel's campus. They do let you chase girls down there, don't they? I wasn't sure what the whole religious aspect. But anyhow, hey! Guys, have a great week nine. Good luck. And I'll be back next week to announce the week nine Bucky of the Week. But for now, from your 2015 week eight Bucky of the Week, Luke Sherry. Goodbye, everybody.